Now we're ready to turn the edges in and line the inside of the upper parts of the small tray. So the first thing we're going to do is treat this just like we do with our other boxes, is to cut the little miter at the corners. So I fold and pull the fabric tight and then use the knife to press and cut both fabrics at once. Now I'm going to open this up and lay this down like this. I'll take my triangle and I'm going to cut from the miter right inside with the board, with the, ins with the line of the inside of the board against this edge of the triangle, I'm going to cut the fabric and trim a little piece out. That way it'll fit you know, directly into the edge when we line it out. So I'll do the same thing on this side. Lining it up with the inside and then cutting like that. And then with the scissors we're going to cut out just a little corner on the top so the miter is flat. So the miter is flat like that. On each side. This will give us a little flap and we're going to put the side pieces in first. And this will be the last piece we put in. So my gluing pad on this side over here and I'm going to glue out the first first side. And the roller will get pretty close, but you still want to do a little touch on the top line. There. Bring the fabric over, and with your folder, rub this down very tight on top. And then press the fabric down on the inside. We stand the box up. And with the chisel part of the folder, I'm just going to push right in to the box here. And push it into the corner all the way. Now I'm going to put this edge down like this and leave this corner up just a little bit because I'm going to cut that out. So I'll take the triangle, push that right into the corner, and with the Olfa knife just cut out that little triangle. And I'll lift this up. It may stick and it may still have a little piece on here so just clip it with your scissors so that that's flat on the corner there. And then we'll push this fabric into the corner and flat against that surface. The whole idea here is not to build up layers of fabric. There are going to be two layers at this end here, but that's not you know too bad. Uh, inside when we line this thing we want to have it as flat as possible. You may notice that there's a little bit of fabric on the on this edge here. Just pick it up with your folder and roll it down so that it matches and molds into the edge of the box. Now we'll do the other side. Again, pull this tight and pull it down. Press it down inside the box. Stand this up so you can put some pressure on it. And then with your folder, push the fabric tightly inside the, into that joint of the box. 
and you'll see that the little piece of fabric goes up here on this side. That gives uh, more protection uh, of, and strength to that corner. And then I'm going to rub it down. Take this little edge here while it's damp. And put my triangle in here again. And we're going to cut that little corner out. And then with the folder, push everything back down into place. And now we'll glue out the foredge and put that down. Just get that little top edge here. Nice and tight into place. There's a little hair like this, you can either snip it off or mold it down into the to the miter. So now everything should be fitting you know, perfectly into the corners here. We can use the flat edge of the folder to rub down the, the board first and then push the chisel edge down into the box like that. Then I'm going to lay down the center part against the box and leave the corners up so I can put the, the triangle back in and trim out those excess uh, corners. Now what you'll see is there's a little cut mark here from the last cut. That's where you want to put the triangle for your cut so that the miter matches up. So we'll pull that like that. And there may be just a little thread here at the end that sticks. So now you have a perfectly flat miter inside, inside the box. Do the same thing on this side. Lining the triangle up with the cut mark that's on the bottom here from your last cut. And we'll pull it up a little bit, give it a snip, and then put it back down again with the folder. Okay, now at this stage, we're going to cut the larger tray and get that into this kind of condition as well before we proceed. Now we're going to cut the pieces for the outer tray. So we have our, our board that's been cut to square, and I'm going to pull it against the stop. You know, very tight against the board shear stop. Now I'll take the box, or the first tray, and I'm going to push this uh, right against the stop as well. Now the second tray has to be the same depth from the uh, fore edge to the spine as the inner tray. So when we make this box uh, we need to have it go around and we're going to use the single side uh, measurement on our gauge. So I'm going to put the gauge in the center of the box and make a pencil line. And then I'm going to turn this at a right angle and push this down. And since we have to cover two sides here, I'm going to use the double-sided thickness with the fabric on it for this measurement. And make a pencil line. So now we're ready to make a first cut. And again, I want to be a little generous, so I'm going to cut it so that the pencil line stays on the box. I 
since I have to do two, I'm going to set the gauge here so I know where to make the second, second box cut. Now I'll cut the uh, other side of the box to get us off our baseline. Leave the pencil line on, move the gauge over. First base, and second base. So I'm just going to mark these for a second. And now we need to cut the side walls. So I'm going to take the boards that I have, I'm taking the tray and turning it upside down. Uh, if you have delicate fabric, you can put a piece of paper on top because we're going to use the side of a pencil here to mark this. So I'm going to, and this paper will protect the uh, fabric from any graphite. So I'm going to stand the board up and then put the paper on top and mark this with a pencil. That way I get the exact height for the uh, second tray, which will include the thickness of the base. I'm going to set this in. And I still want to leave the pencil line on instead of cutting it off and I'll cut all the pieces for these sides. So I have my two four edges, and now I will measure for the side bars. So I put the board in, bring your uh, board shear knife, bring your board shear down to still so it crosses at about half the distance, and push the board up against it. Then you can set your gauge and that will give us the full dimension. But we're going to take off one thickness. So I'll put the two side boards in, take the forage piece, stand it up between the gauge and the, uh, and the cardboard sides, and then trim them down. And this should give us our sides and for the, for the tray. So we'll do the same thing for the second box. we're ready to assemble. Okay, I've set up my little bar again and we can assemble the outer tray. A little bit of glue. And we'll match this up on the sides here. Press it in place. And glue up one side. And press this in place, being sure that I match up the corner, you know, very t tightly. side here. Okay. 
And now while it's here, I'll take the tray, the smaller tray, and see how it fits inside. And it looks like we're doing pretty good. Great. Uh, from here, we'll cover this tray exactly to the stage that we did for the small tray, and then we'll proceed with the next step.